All right, forgive me, I am tired. I've been doing too much lately. <clears throat> so my big thing for today is going to be which direction do you think SHTF is going to be coming from? There is literally 20 different things that could push us down into a scenario that might not be fun. From supply chain issues to an economic collapse to a medical situation worse than what's already here. Uh, food shortages. Where do you think it's going to be coming from? I've always felt like we're going to have some sort of an economic collapse. But now it just seems like one of the things that could happen. I don't know. I mean, with supply chain stuff, with food shortages and stuff, it's kind of all in there and kind of wrapped up into an economic collapse also. So I think that uh, it could be several different things that start it, um, but it might not be what brings us there all the way, depending on what it is. I know without toilet paper, we'll all be just fine. <laughs> Find a rag. Do something with yourself, right? <laughs> a million different ways to take care of that situation, but not much of a different way. You see the, the petrodollar issues now with all the other countries going on stuff, and there's the currency, so there could be a currency issue, um, which would be part of the economic collapse, and I've always kind of felt like the reckless spending and everything for years now, I've been feeling like sooner or later something might happen with that. And if your currency purchasing power isn't, you know, if it's not worth anything to get anything with and stuff goes up like a hyperinflation of some sort and it's going to be uh, $100 for a loaf of bread or something today because tomorrow will probably be 200 none of that even matters if there's a supply chain issue, which is something I never really thought of or thought to prepare for. You know, no matter what, you're getting your food and your water and all your ways of getting water and everything and uh you never really thought of well what happens if it just disappears off the shelf anyways you've you've heard of like crazy things where stores get cleaned out when we lived in new york we'd have uh there's a snowstorm this you know all they had to hear was snowstorm and everybody ran out to the store and just bare shelves for a week or something five days maybe whatever it was but it seemed like you always had enough to get through yeah, it was only a couple days or something but what happens if it's not enough to get through? Always good to have something extra. There's just so many different directions now that stuff could be going wrong. That, uh... I guess all you can really do is just be prepared the best possible way you can. By having some extra food, having some extra supplies, having extra ways to protect or your family, your supplies, your everything, protect, defend, however you want to say it, and it kind of is what it is, and it kind of doesn't really matter how it goes down. I still like watching the videos, I still like listening to everybody's ideas and how they think this is going to go down before that or the other thing, and is there a way that you could uh, just slightly change the path that you're on to make that little dip around whatever it is to make it easier for you to survive altogether, but it's kind of going to be like one of those. Uh, I think Ang Angry Prepper said it pretty good. I think he said whatever it is, it's going to be, and uh, you're going to adapt. So being adaptable, it's not you know, and that makes a lot of sense because it's the, uh, say you got into a fight. I know some people have probably been in fights, but if I'm in a uh, fight for whatever reason. Say you're younger, you got into a fist fight in high school or something. Well, if everybody's only throwing this one, that's all you have to get out of the way of. Oh, that's easy, that's easy. Well, now you have to adapt because now they're doing this. And then someone's gonna end up, so everything, no matter which way it gets thrown at you, you've got to adapt to whatever it's gonna be, whether it's gonna be uh, food shortages. Either way, you're gonna have to have food, so that kind of takes care of the economic collapse and the food shortage and the supply chain issues if you have enough food. 
the medical type issues of different sorts that we have been seeing for a little while now and um, to go along with supply chain issues I heard that there's gonna be some uh, on the shelf uh, supply chain issues for like the, the over-the-counter type medications NyQuil or something I don't know whatever you want to say it is ibuprofen whatever it is but if the stuff's not coming in that stuff will be off the shelf too do you have enough medication for whatever medication you take it's kind of hard to get additional medications but uh, any over-the-counter stuff to have an issue with that too is just it's just one more thing and I don't I mean we we're fairly well prepped in that situation I would say but it also depends on how long of a situation are you preparing for are you preparing to go through the winter say something happens Oh, we'll say in September, right? In September, uh, supply chain issues, some medical lockdown thing or something, and then there's rolling blackouts, grid down, something. So do you have enough to get you from, like, that September to March or something? I, I live in the cold weather. If you don't have something set up to where you're going to be able to get some sort of warmth, you're going to have a hard time can't start growing stuff especially with no power or anything like that even if you have an indoor some sort of setup you're gonna have a hard time with no power obviously unless you had solar panels or <clears throat> you wait till the spring but then how long do you have do you have stuff that grows fast do you have stuff that takes all year to grow you could plop in a bunch of beans or something a lot of stuff comes up quick beans are pretty good and they, they've got the proteins the carbs everything but I'm getting away from the point the point is to have six months worth of stuff or something. Uh, that long, cold, dark winter thing, you kind of, that's been hitting me in my head a little bit, but not, nothing, nothing too extreme. And no matter what it is, it can't be too extreme, extreme. You can't be too wound up about all this stuff. You just want to take it day by day. The longer stuff goes before something ends up happening, hopefully the more prepared you're going to be for anything. Whether that be uh, in a defensive way or having enough food. Because if you're only buying a couple extra cans or uh, an extra bag of rice or two every week or every two weeks or once a month. Of course, if we go three months long, you're going to have three times as much as you did three months ago. So it's not a bad thing. And nobody wants any of this madness to even happen. But I feel like we're almost getting pushed into it. The whole F SHTF situation mildly aggravating to think about but I think that uh, just doing that little bit and being able to adapt to whatever the situation might be is gonna be it's gonna be huge keeping that level head and, and just okay here's what it is and here's how I'm gonna deal with it kind of kind of having a plan for each Avenue but at the same time being able to switch your plan up just a dip or duck or move off to the side of whatever that extra you know like if you were preparing for economic collapse we understand this part but this could happen too so I got a plan for okay I kind of know where it's going to be but if there's just that side you know if a hook comes instead of that straight punch are you going to be ready for it I hope everybody is I hope everybody's been getting some stuff some sort of supplies this if you've been on the channel I always complain about food and I feel like that was where I was lacking the most for, for the longest time. I just thought, defense, defense, defense. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we got canned stuff. I probably got a month's worth of food or something or something crazy ever did happen. But then when you hear stuff like supply chain issues that could take three months to fill shelves back up or anything like that, you know, 90 days to refill the, uh, the shelves, you're, you're thinking to yourself, well, that's longer than a month. And yeah, I could defend myself, but I won't be alive to defend myself because I won't have enough food <laughs> so just being well-rounded I guess is a good way to put it and I uh, hope the best for everybody and I don't know do the best you can for your family and uh, we'll see you soon I just want to throw that out there because it seems like it's just coming from like every direction and you don't even know what to even attempt to pay attention to and like I said I'm kind of into that economic collapse thing but now I'm kind of getting into that supply chain issue too 
which could cause some sort of chaos too if there's no food in the stores. People are going to be hungry. That's going to cause uh, there's your your protection or your defensive uh, uh, situation right there. Now you got to uh, there's going to the, the crime will go up or something. So you're going to end up having uh, quite a bit more you know additional issues in that department. But first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Give us the thumbs up. And uh, we will uh, we'll talk more. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. What are you preparing for? Uh, or do you think it's just a whole splatter on the wall, see what sticks? <laughs> kind of a thing. I, just be as well-rounded as you possibly can. So thanks for watching.